Welcome back to the Lumios Post. We talk about all things Pokemon, and today we're going to be talking about, well, uh, Mega Evolution and Pokemon Legends EA. We know this is coming. They confirmed that. That's nothing new. Uh, but specifically, we want to talk about how this is going to work because this is a little bit different than uh, normal, honestly. Uh, so the thing about Mega Evolution is it's a very battle-focused mechanic, right? Like, traditionally in games, you use a Mega Evolution in battle. You don't use them outside of battle. The only exception to this is when you're playing a Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Every time you do the Soar feature, you are riding on a Mega Latios or a Mega Latios. So it is, you know... A mega evolved pokemon outside of battle but this is the exception now in the anime we do see some instances of a pokemon being mega evolved when it's not actively battling but you know that's the anime that doesn't necessarily equal the games and i don't think we should use that as kind of a uh, basis when we're looking at things in the games but I, I did want to talk about this the past legends game was not very battle focused and given that this one has been confirmed to be an action rpg just like legends arceus I imagine that we're going to see the same thing with it. Uh, so what this means, an action RPG versus the battling thing, is uh, for those who haven't played Legends Arceus, it just means that your character is going to do a lot more, right? Like the action isn't solely on you clicking, hey, Charizard, use Flamethrower here, or, you know, clicking Pokeball, use. But instead, your character is running around getting attacked by Pokemon, having to throw things at Pokemon to, you know, uh, kind of weaken them or rather uh, distract them or get their attention and even the pokeball themselves you throw now you do have the option to battle pokemon and do the whole turn-based thing like a traditional pokemon game but you know the the big thing about legends arceus was that you didn't have to do this anymore furthermore your player character was able to take damage and not only that but your player character could essentially die it would just say that arceus saved you or whatever and sent you back to camp you could drown you could get mauled by a wild pokemon yeah it, your character was very much uh, the focus of the game rather than the pokemon like in past games so if Legends EA is going to follow suit, and again, we know Legends EA is supposed to be an action RPG just like Legends Arceus, then I imagine we're going to face a similar looking game where uh, your character is a big focus and it's not as much focused on the battling, the turn-based battling aspects of the other Pokemon games like Pokemon Diamond or Pokemon Scarlet, right? So, how will Mega Evolution function? And I think Oris can be a really good uh, example of how it could. I imagine that they're going to have Mega Evolution be used in the overworld, and I think that specifically it'll give buffs. You know, it'll, it'll do a little bit more than the average Pokemon can. So, a, a great example that always comes to my head is Gogo. So, Gogo is a Pokemon that you ride around Lumio City. This is nothing new. That's a whole thing in x and y in fact gogo was a huge part of the marketing of the Kalos region and the whole hey look you can ride on pokemon aspect of the Kalos region uh because the gogo taxi was located in lumio city so i imagine we're going to see something similar here again with us being able to ride on gogo throughout lumio city legends arceus also have ride pokemon like weird ear and ursa luna so i imagine again that's what they're going to do in this game as well now, I could see something where on Go-Go, we can go a certain speed, and then if we Mega Evolve Go-Go, its abilities change a little bit. So think about how in Scarlet and Violet, when you get Coridon or Miridon, depending on your version, uh, you can ride on it, but you have to do the different Titan quests and get it to eat Herba Mystica in order to unlock more of its abilities, like swimming, jumping a little bit higher, dashing, uh, climbing, and flying, or gliding, which later becomes flying. So I imagine we're looking at a similar thing. Go-Goat, you're just going to be able to ride on a Go-Goat, going at a normal speed, but when I Mega Evolve Go-Goat, he's now going to be able to dash, and perhaps even dash through things, right? Think about how Tauros is used in the Alola region to dash through large rocks, like it's your Rock Smash substitute in those games. I imagine that that'd be a similar thing. Likewise, you could see something like, uh, say there's a Pokemon like Pidgeot in the game, and you have Pidgeot, and Pidgeot, you can fly on it, but you can only fly like a certain height. But then, when you Mega Evolve Pidgeot, you can now go even higher up into the air, allowing you to access some more Pokemon, maybe some rarer Pokemon. Now I can find wild Altarias and Dragonites rather than finding wild P-Doves and Swablus, you know? Um, 
not only this, but perhaps Pidgeot could get like a dive feature, not dive underwater, but like just a, a steep dive down from the air. Uh, things like maybe being able to battle while you're riding on the Pidgeot. It just makes sense to me that these would give you upgrades in the overworld. These Mega Evolutions would serve as that. Because again, I don't think they're going to be purely battle focused in these games. That's the whole point of this video. Uh, this also would help you in battles themselves right like in legends arceus we see the uh, noble battles were kind of the boss battles of those games so that was cleavor lilligant um arcanine electrode and avalug in these it was again focused on you you were having to dodge the attacks of these noble pokemon you were having to throw i don't remember what exactly they were but the things to calm them down at them and uh eventually you, you, they would have a health bar, and what you were throwing would eventually dwindle that health bar. Now, there were points where you could use your Pokemon to bow them, to kind of weaken them a little bit, or distract them a little bit, so you can throw more items at them, but this is, again, where I could see this going. Like, they say, hey, you actually, in order to fight this next Noble, this Noble Charizard, for example, it's gonna fly pretty high up there. You and your Pidgeot aren't going to be able to do much. You need to find a Pidgeotite and learn how to Mega Evolve your Pidgeot so that you'll be able to battle Charizard up in the air. So it makes sense from a story standpoint, right? I can't access the Charizard Noble battle, or at least I can, but I'm going to get demolished unless I go and find the Pidgeotite, Mega Evolve my Pidgeot, and I'm now able to use the new features of Mega Pidgeot versus Pidgeot in that battle. Uh, likewise, maybe with Go Goat. If I dash at the Pokemon now, again, if Mega Gogo can tear through walls or rocks or something, then maybe Mega Gogo can now even do damage to a Pokemon by dashing at them in the overworld. I really think this kind of stuff would not only make sense to me, but also I think would add a little more life to the game and uh, you know because you'd have the different pokemon doing different things like one thing i noticed when playing legends arceus is that i didn't use ursaluna and sneezler a lot by the time i had unlocked braviary because ursaluna is used to find items well i i didn't really need to find a lot of items in the post game when i'm just shiny hunting and sneezler is used to climb up things well you know, unless I'm trying to get to a very particular spot, I'm not really going to need that because I can just fly up on Braviary and drop down to where I need to be. But this would keep these Pokemon relevant as they're all doing different things in the overworld to uh, that, that are a little more needed. It's not just searching for items. It can dig a tunnel to allow you to access a lower area. Or it's not just walking pretty fast. It's dashing through things and dashing at Pokemon to kind of weaken them or maybe even like cause a state of confusion for a moment. You know, they're sitting there dizzy, which allows you time to start chucking Pokeballs at it. All of that, I think, is very useful. This is just the way that I imagine Mega Evolution could be implemented in these games. Because again, if you take one thing from this video, they've got to be beyond battles for a Legends game. So let me know what you think of this. Let me know how you think Legends... ZA could implement uh, Mega Evolution outside of battles. Uh, give me your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, all that fun stuff so you don't miss our future videos. Got a pretty big discovery that I've made on Legend ZA that will be coming out later this week, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, I will see all of you later. Later.